And we are live. It is May 1st, 2014. I am Ron Motter from Planeta.com. And we are discussing Park Inspiring Solutions. This is a web tour day in which we look at a variety of websites. Oh, hoo -hoo, and uh, we figure out a little bit about how to use some of these portable devices. So if you'd like to know about how to make the most of your trip to a park, or if you are, in fact, a park ranger or manager of a park or protected area, uh, stay tuned. The next uh, 15 to 30 minutes uh, should be an enlightening guide to what we can do on the social web. So with that in mind, we're going to go over to a series of screenshots and uh, take a look at how we communicate using the fancy old internet. <coughs> This is the page of Twitter and how I tweeted, uh, messaging the fact that we were going to have a hangout about parks today. And using the hashtag World Parks Congress. Now, the World Parks Congress is a big old event, November 12th to the 20th of 2014, that'll take place in Sydney, Australia. And we've been focusing on this for uh, more than a year now and will continue to focus as the event approaches. Now on Twitter, I'll just kind of like, like to show you the new Twitter. Uh, Twitter, like most social web channels, changes how it appears every 15 days. And this is the new Twitter with uh, larger photos and uh, different messages. I'd encourage people to use a Twitter account and to connect it by, and connect to other places on the internet, such as Flickr or YouTube, or just posting news about what's happening. Uh, this was a post I made on April 28th about the SlideShare presentation on engaging conservation champions in the United States. In other words, if you put something online, let people know. How best to let people know? Ah, well, I would use Twitter as one of the chief mechanisms. It's not the only way, but it is a really good tool and the social web toolbox. If we were to click World Parks Congress, what comes up are all of the hashtags that are labeled hashtag World Parks Congress. Those include my post as well as the official post from World Parks Congress, or in this case, a post that has been retweeted by the IUCN Protected Areas Twitter handle. We can see news about the event that again it percolates on the web, uh, again with some very timely news. Kudos here to, to the new social compact, to Charles and our friend Elena from the Tapas group. So again, all of this is on Twitter and using that hashtag, World Parks Congress. Other major page I'd like to show you is this page. This is the Google Plus page for this particular Hangout. Now, the idea is to have a regular series every two to four weeks, uh, a monthly, uh, a regular monthly or bi-weekly conversation, that means more than me, a conversation about parks and how parks, in fact, inspire solutions. So this is the page that will be the hub for this particular conversation. And if you do have a Q&A uh, question that I might be able to answer or others might be able to, just click that Q&A and you can ask it in real time. If not today, well then maybe in two to four weeks. If we look elsewhere on Google+, Plus, we see that highly recommended is the IUC and World Parks Congress Google Plus page. You can see that it has 17 followers and 8,000 views. Uh, if you see a post on Google+, Plus that you like, just give it a plus one, and that uh, shares the love. Elsewhere on Google+, Plus, we do have the Tourism and Protected Area Specialist Group. More about them in a second. We have a whopping 22 followers and nearly a little bit over 4,000 views. Here is uh, the official website for the World Parks Congress. We see that early bird registration closes in 59 days and uh, a very quick, fast-paced uh, 15, was it 59 days and 15 hours? Has the basic information about the event. Uh, 
thank you everybody in New South Wales and Australia for providing that information. It also includes a direct links to the different social web channels. And again, this is where we're getting our, our information. You know, when asked by the organizers if I'd like their email newsletter, I said, please no. But I would like to, to find the information about the event here online in public. Now, yes, you might ask, well, why am I interested? Well, I host the very first website focusing on ecotourism and responsible travel called Planeta.com. Planeta was launched in 1994-1995. We've been focusing on parks as a, a general concept as well as individual parks for several years. This is the Planeta page on parks, and this is the page about the Cacamahuapa Caverns. They're in lovely Guerrero, Mexico. Cacamahuapa is one of the few parks in Mexico that's actually managed by the community. And this is the information that we have on Planeta. All of these features on Planeta can be updated and should be updated, and we'll be showing you how uh, you might want to contribute or suggest some ideas. One of the major ways is by using what's called a wiki. Now, can we announce this particular hangout using different channels on the social web? And this is our catch-all page for parks and protected areas on the Planeta Wiki. And again, it has different information, links, and the videos that we've recorded over the past few years. Um, that's one particular page just about parks. This is the page, oh, excuse me, let's go back up. This is the page about the World Parks Congress has information about our hangouts. And this is the wiki page about the Tourism and Protected Area Specialist Group. Now, was it two, uh, three, four, golly, how long ago was it now? Um, back a few years ago, Anna Spensley asked if I would help with communication. I said, really? And I said, I'd be happy to. So here is our Tourism and Protected Area Specialist Group page on the wiki that we update and provide news about what, what we're doing and different ways you can contribute. Now, personally, I view parks as a tourist. I'm not a manager, I'm not a biologist, but I am a fervent fan and visitor. So I encourage those who are interested to check out Tapas. One of the social web tools that we're using is Facebook. And you can see here is the Tapas um, Facebook page with 534 likes. Hey, thank you, likers. Um, again, this is a wonderful way of uh, sharing information, announcing our chats, uh, announcing different resources, and for example, uh, what do you want? I want to say retweeting, but sharing news that other people have posted. So, for example, when the National Park Service in the United States posts its news about free entrance days, you know, thank you Earth Day, uh, it's very easy to share that. Um, when the Radio National has a discussion about the future of national parks in Australia. Again, it's very easy to share that. When the IUCN has news about the Kenton Miller Award, very easy to share that. And for those who are interested, please take a look at the Tourism and Protected Area Specialist Group page there on Facebook. Another way that we're communicating about the Tapas Group in particular uh, is through SlideShare. Now, SlideShare, for those who are uh, unaware and not familiar with this, SlideShare is related, is linked to LinkedIn, and it provides a way of uploading and archiving uh, Word documents or presentations, hello, PowerPoint, um, and here on SlideShare. And I'll be showing you some of the work that I've done. But <clears throat> what's interesting is that it makes it very easy to share any particular page through Facebook, through Twitter, through LinkedIn, through Pinterest, or through Google+. It makes it very easy to do that. Other pages that I've created include the Zion National Park on the social web, as well as the Uluru Kata uh, National Park in the Northern Territory of Australia. These are presentations that I'm continuing to update and to document how these parks are using different channels on the social web to communicate with people. All of this, by the way, and here comes your, your commercial advertisement, all of this, by the way, can be, can be yours for just inscribing in a paid-for webinar called Parks and Tourism. Uh, this is a, the presentation I have uploaded with 100 slides that show exactly how to make the 
make the most of the social web. I'll be happy to guide you. you can, anyone can view this. Anyone can download it. If you want me to guide you through it, uh, there is a small price. Other news on SlideShare is this review preview, I should say, for the World Parks Congress. And that now has a whopping uh, 58,000 views. So I encourage people who are presenting at the Congress or at other events, whether they're about parks or conservation or ecotourism or anything of, of note, you know, to take your, your presentation and to upload it to this site. It makes it very easy to share. It makes it very easy to embed. In other words, you can get the, co you can get the code for the particular presentation. You can copy that, go back to uh, the particular wiki page, and this is how we've embedded the presentation that you see on, on a particular page. In other words, you still control the content. You have the original, but you're allowing other people to share that information. And that's all thanks to SlideShare. Wrapping up, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to show you just two things in which you are cordially invited to participate. One is Flickr. Here is our Flickr group for World Parks, documenting parks around the world. Thank you, New South Wales. Thank you, Ivar Ruckel. Uh, these are different photos that people have, have posted, have shared, and that we're able to collect, curate, aggregate in one location. So we'd love to see more photos. Here's Death Valley National Park. We'd love to see more photos and images and posters from you. And again, it's very easy to share that in the World Parks group on Flickr. Last thing I'm going to show you is something brand new as of last year called Flipboard. And Flipboard allows anyone to curate different sources, different materials from across the web, particularly through Twitter, Google Plus, and Flickr. So this, with 42 readers, 511 page flips, and 156 articles are the most recent articles and features and photos and videos that deal with world parks that I've curated myself. So we can see it's very easy to flip through this. And any of these links, any of these links uh, would lead you back to the original. And national parks worth visiting this spring. Thank you, NBC News in the United States. So in other words, it makes it a very visually attractive uh, magazine, digital magazine of sorts, um, that allows you to collect favorite information. We can only collect that, we can only curate that if, in fact, people are posting some materials online which leads me back to you know, the Flickr group. So if you have photos of World Parks, it makes it very easy to, uh, to put that into a flip. It's very easy to flip it, but only if you post it in the first place there on Flickr. Here we are for the Vilga Forest ride in New South Wales. Again, on on Flickr, the golden rule is if you like something, to uh, give it a star. And that's how that, that works. Wrapping up, and it is our brief 15 to 30 minute trip. Wrapping up, this is our presentation on Google+. We will be updating this page. We will be scheduling future Hangouts. So if you would like to be informed of future Hangouts, please follow me, tweet me, email me, and say, hey, how do we get involved? We'd love to have more people participate. We'd love to have more people participate, particularly the, the folks who are working with the World Parks Congress, particularly the folks who are working in parks, and we'd like to continue this discussion. Now, Delia Clark here has asked a question. I'm considering volunteering at, the, at WPC as a facilitator. I see on their website that they don't open for volunteer sign-up until mid-2014. I will be unplugged uh, a sabbatical through late June. Does anyone know who I should contact now for info? 
and tell you, let me um, refer you to uh, the WPC page on, on Google+, Plus, as well as Facebook, as well as Twitter, and to connect with them directly. And we'll post that here on the Google Plus page, and we'll hopefully get some comments from from the from the part, from the organizers of that event. Uh, thank you. It's always good to get a Q and A when you have a Q and A activated. Um, that said, uh, we're going to wrap up the conversation right now, but we will schedule this. Uh, we will schedule these Parks Inspiring Solutions Hangouts on a regular basis. We'll have the, the details in the next in the coming week. Probably have our hangout again within two to three weeks, and hopefully scheduling. I'd like to see two hangouts on a Thursday. One at this time, eight thirty Pacific, eight thirty Pacific, and uh, four thirty p.m. Pacific, which would be a much more reasonable time for our friends in Sydney. I believe it's it's coming up to two a.m. in Sydney. Uh, you ask uh, travel coffee break. Oh, we have more than one viewer. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Alistair. Uh, what was the last app, Ron? That was Flipboard. Let me show you. Let me go back to that. Oh, look at this. Viewers. <laughs> and uh, here it is. Uh, wait a minute. Flip. The links are on the Google Plus page as well as on the YouTube video, but this is the World Parks Flipboard. Uh, very easy to use. Um, this is my account um, in which I have, again, it grows and grows, but I have uh, 13 magazines and 252 readers. And again, divided among topics. World Parks is just one, but uh, I would strongly encourage you to get the app. You can download it for free. <laughs> so hopefully that answers that question. Uh, so again, here's our future plan. Well, we will, we will schedule a follow-up. Uh, hangout about parks inspiring solutions in two in two weeks. Let's say uh, keep an eye on my Google Plus page for for updates and events. If you if you'd like to participate, let me know. Uh, we host other Google Hangouts, not specifically about parks. Again, if you'd like to have a conversation, please do so. I'd also like to encourage people to look at some of the other Hangouts. Uh, Alistair's Travel Coffee Break is one that comes to mind, and and let's find a way of really bumping up our mass collaboration when it comes to parks and protected areas. Here's another question. How does Trip uh, Flipboard compare with Pinterest? Um, how does Yellow compare with Red? It's another tool in the social web toolbox. Uh, beyond that flip and answer, um, there's something about Flipboard that I really like that looks much more like a magazine. Uh, there is something that, again, it, it works with the same principle of curation. Uh, but Flipboard, and again, you'll see a number of uh, images I have. Uh, let's go back to Flickr. You know, Flickr was my first social web love. Um, if we go back to Flickr, let's see. In fact, the latest images on my on my Flickr stream are all of flipboards. So again, you know, take a look at this. To me, this this looks much more like a magazine. It looks much more attractive. Frankly, I was comparing Flipboard to a service called oh, Paperly, and Paperly I thought had a lot of potential, and at the same point, it did not. Uh, let you edit or modify text, whereas with Flipboard, and again, nerdy insiders, here's how it works. Good to have comments here. 
Um, I'm going to show you the Insider Tour of Flipboard. <clears throat> it's very easy to take uh, a particular magazine such as World Parks and to edit it. Now this is something we couldn't do with Paperly. I'm sure you could do something similar on Pinterest, but I like the look of Flipboard. Plus you get to say the words Flipboard. So you get to You know, you get to um, edit this in any way you'd like. Wow, we're getting a number of posts here. Um, and we're, we're able to edit this the way we'd like. And again, then we go back to my magazines, and again, you can you can edit any of these. The other nice thing about Flipboard and Alistair, if you'd like to join me, let me know. But we are able to add contributors. So any of these any of these magazines could be edited with more than one person. Uh, that said, if anyone really wants to contribute and collaborate in a in um, contributing manner, I would say take a look at the Planet the Wiki. It would be very easy. You know, we thanks we we it would be very easy to take any of these pages and edit it. And if you'd like, you know, access front row seats of VIP treatment to be given kudos through tweets, etc., you know, let me know and come on board our wiki. Um, there is no end to the ways we can collaborate. And as always, the question is, well, do we have any sort of a plan? Um, and what makes sense to us? And with that, coming up to 30 minutes, we're going to wrap this up. I will be online for a while, so if anyone would like to hang out as a private chat, let me know. If anyone would like to connect with me, the email is editor at planeta.com. The Twitter address is at or Ron Motter, R-O-N-M-A-D-E-R. -E and again, for those learning the pronunciation, it's Motter. And I'd be, I'd be very happy uh, to connect with you. We'll be continuing these Parks Hangouts on a regular basis, and we'll be continuing the other Hangouts as well. So there are plenty of ways to participate. Thank you, everybody, for your questions, and we'll continue this conversation. Cheers.